I was thinking last night about what it takes to actually become successful in business and just strive and drive and make that path on your own of entrepreneurship. So in this video, we're going to discuss that and potentially even some limiting beliefs that you have that you may not even realize that are stopping you from seeing the results and success that you want. Now, I'm not a big one on mindset, but in this specific situation, I do think it does make a big difference. Uh, if you're the sort of person who only has a five second attention span and can't watch a video that's 10 minutes long that's going to help you grow your business, then all I have to say is I don't think that you should be starting an e-commerce business. This video is purely meant to be informational and it's not going to be entertaining, but hopefully it will help some of you out. So the first thing I wanted to go through is there are two aspects of I think someone who can become successful and that is time and efficiency. Um, and I think if you spend enough time doing the right things you will always see success. And then I think it comes down to how efficient you are with doing those things because in one of my previous videos I actually spoke about this idea of leverage and when you're at a small level you know, if you're a small level business owner, you don't have much leverage. You have to leverage your own efforts, your own energy. So if you can make as efficient the tasks you're doing, you're going to be using less energy that you can be using in other aspects of your business to help it grow. But this all comes down to time on the correct things. And far too often, like in my Discord, for example, I will see people talking about them spending time looking for, you know, the best apps for their e-commerce store. They seem to think if they add an app to their dropshipping store, suddenly they're going to be successful with their brand. And realistically, you need to be identifying where the big problems are within your business and where to spend the time on and how to actually solve those problems. But before we even get to any of this, I think there's an even larger underlying belief that's actually limiting us from success. And that all comes down to this idea of telling yourself that you are succeeding when you're not. So imagine this, right? imagine this scenario. Why are you doing e-commerce? Why did you start dropshipping? What was the real reason? What was it about it that appealed to you? Now I'm guessing, actually leave it down below in the comments because I'll be very curious, but I'm guessing for most of you it is the financial freedom and the ability to own your time, work for yourself and live that laptop lifestyle. Uh, and the problem that I think most people have when they get started with dropshipping is they get so excited that this idea that they can do a lot of, make a lot of money without doing much work at all and they can just be sitting on a beach making money and then they start to put themselves in this mindset where they're already achieving their goal. They've already achieved that goal. Maybe they've got very excited, they've gone around, they've told their friends they're going to start an e-commerce business, they're going to create a business and they're going to be rich and uh, then the inevitability happens where they start to see failure after failure. Um, and the problem comes where they get asked or someone asks them how's your business going like how often has someone asked you how your business is going and you've told them it's going really really well or you've told them I own a successful e-commerce brand when in actual fact you don't and the problem with this idea in your head is the more you tell yourself you are at the final level the more you tell yourself you're sitting on a beach living a laptop lifestyle the more you actually reward yourself for getting a goal that you've not yet achieved the less success you're going to see because your brain starts to switch off your brain starts to say we've already achieved this goal because you're convincing yourself that you've already achieved it another thing i see a lot is people start to say well you know i'll take today off because i know that eventually it will work because i know the systems i know how to get it to work and you know there's this there's this balance of when are you in the research phase and when are you actually going to take action um and, and then and more importantly, when are you actually going to act upon what you're saying? If you're telling people you run a successful business, actually sit down with yourself and work out, are you? Because if you're not, I'm sure if you spend the time on the correct things, you will. So let's move on. If you want to spend the time on getting the best results, what, what are the things that I would recommend you actually focus on? And it comes down to in the initial phase, if you've not done dropshipping before, if you've not done e-commerce, to give yourself the best chances of success, if you actually focus your energy on research, right? And I know this is a boring one, but if you do, if you spend time researching, this is researching competitors, this is understanding, this is not like watching thousands of YouTube videos. And although I would like you to watch all of my videos, I think you need to spend more time actually actionably looking at competitors, understanding what people are doing that's working and what's not, how to work out if someone is successful or not. 
if you see, for example, a lot of you are doing organic dropshipping for, through TikTok, and if you want to give yourself the best chances of success, here's what you need to do. You need to go onto TikTok and you need to find a brand that's succeeding. You need to find these up and coming uh, TikTok accounts. And the easiest way to see if a brand is working for TikTok or a dropshipping product is working is looking at the account and just keeping an eye on it. Make a spreadsheet. Okay, put in that spreadsheet every single time you find an account you think is interesting that looks like it's fairly new that's found a product that you think could be worth selling. Just watch it and see what happens because chances are that account will only post a few videos and then it will stop. Now you've got to wonder why did that account stop posting videos? Well, it's either because the owner got bored, didn't see results quick enough, or the product just wasn't working. So now you get to get an idea of okay, if they stop posting, why? Okay, if we think it's because the product's not very good enough, why was the product not good enough? And then you can get an idea of the whole, without actually sort of having to test thousands of products, you get the idea of what's actually not working and what's working. Now, there is a limit to this. You can become over analytical. And I am, you know, I fell into this trap myself. A lot of people who have analytical minds will over analyze and they will look at an account and they will say, okay, this product didn't work. This product didn't work. Why didn't it work? Okay, how can I make it better? And they come up with all these amazing ideas. And then what happens is you analytically think yourself through the entire process. So you say from start to finish, okay, if I find a product and I build a store and if I run some ads and if I get these results and then if this doesn't happen then this will happen blah 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 all the way to the end and then what happens is the more that you do this the more that you can actually analyze and talk yourself out of becoming actionable and actually starting so you've got to be very careful on how long you spend on this research phase so I would always recommend just getting an idea until you feel comfortable then you need to actually spend time on actionable steps so for example these actionable steps would be something let's say let's say we're doing um, TikTok organic right an actionable step will be posting okay posting to TikTok or even optimizing your landing page these are two things that you should be spending time on right and I would do these once I've done the research phase so spend you know a week on the research phase don't overdo it once you get onto the action stage of posting and optimizing, this is where you're actually spending time on money driving tasks. Now, when you talk to your friends and they ask you how your business is going, you can say, right, okay, well, I actually do feel like I'm working on it now. And this this isn't, right, posting, an actionable step of posting isn't, right, it, it's not posting one video a day, okay? Because if you can only post one video a day, if you only post one video a day, I'm sorry, you're you're not a business owner. You are a user of the TikTok platform, and that is it. You only become a business owner when you identify the fact that actually to see results in your business, you need to be posting consistently. You need to be posting at least, I would say you'd need to be posting at least three, four, five times per day. Like it has to be that extreme. And if you're not willing to spend the time to create the ads to then post every single day, you're just not gonna see the success. And to be honest, I don't think the people who spend that much time in their business really deserve the level of success because the people who spend hours and hours and hours creating ads, optimizing, creating better ads, looking at the data, analyzing why their ad did well, and then making new ads, and then posting new ones, and then updating their websites, other people that actually deserve to see success. So if you wanna see success, do not be doing this. Upgrade, how many videos can be posting a day? And this all comes down to identifying how much time you actually have available to you, because each person is in a different situation. But you have to understand that if you want to build a business, you must sacrifice something to give yourself and free up time, right? For me, that is sacrificing a huge amount of socializing time during the week. I do absolutely no socializing at all. I will spend all of my time building my business, identifying where I can grow my business and working on it because I know that I want to buy that time back. I'm sort of leveraging time from my future more than anything else. I'm saying the time that I spend on it now I'm losing. It's difficult. It's hard to spend that much time and lose out on things. But if I do that now, where people are just going to the pub and they're not really doing much and everyone's just sort of getting behind, I am actually getting ahead. So in the future, I will actually be able to reuse that time and buy myself a significant amount more time because I've built a vessel for creating time. So you need to understand that aspect of building a business. So the next thing I wanna go through is efficiency because while spending time on things is important, I think it's very important what you spend the time on, obviously there's actionable steps, but I also think it's how efficient you can be with that. You know, posting one video a day, 
if you struggle, you've got to identify, right? What is it that you struggle with? What is stopping you from posting? Let's say this is the one thing here, the amount of videos you're posting. That's the one thing that's stopping you from seeing success. Okay, well, what is it? Okay, so let me just analyze. So for me, it really comes down to two things. It's really how easy is it and how fun is it? Because I know if something's not easy for me to do and quick for me to do and it's not fun, I will not do it. It's just not happening, okay? It's like these videos on YouTube. Most of the videos I post are these long loom videos because they're easy for me to do. They're not necessarily the most fun, but they're the most informative. So I can actually do them and I know that I will stay consistent in posting them. And the same thing goes with TikTok. You've got to find a way of making this work for you. And if it's not easy for you to do, find a way of making it easier and quicker, right? So for example, if you're spending six hours on a video because you're trying to find the right font and the right color and exactly what to write in the video and you've edited it for three hours on your computer, chances are you don't need that level of editing. And in fact, that could be detrimenting you because the TikTok platform prefers people who just do looks lower quality content. It just does better. So you need to identify what you're spending time on that is actually stopping you. If you sit there and say, oh, I don't want to post any videos today because it takes me forever to edit them and I've got to film all the content. Okay, fine. So if it's the content, spend one day and film a hundred different videos, okay? And save them to your computer. Now all you need to do Every single day you need a video. You don't need to sit down and film a video. You need to sit down and edit the video. Okay, fine. Now it's, oh, the editing takes forever. Okay, fine. So how can we make the editing quicker? So you need to find a solution to all of these problems and become more efficient to the point that you can actually remain consistent with the actionable tasks in your business. And then fun. Fun's a difficult one. You know, at a certain point, I think you've got to just sort of cross this one out and you've just got to say, I'm going to do it because I've got to do it. Uh, and if you can make it more fun while doing it, then that's perfect. Um, but more importantly, it's just making it so you can actually be efficient and do the job and make it easy and make it quick. Okay, so for example, we're posting videos now. Okay, here's another example that I always go through and this is what I do with this YouTube channel. Okay, you'll see here it's the 24th of February. This video is probably not gonna go out for another five or six days. So I'm filming videos ahead of time because I know that if I have to film a video a day or two, three videos a day, I'm not going to do it. So I film a bulk load of videos and I get them all scheduled. You can do the same thing with TikTok. You can film a load of videos, add them to your draft, spend one day and get 30 videos filmed. Suddenly, you've done a month's work in one day you now know all you need to do every day is go in, click on the draft and publish, publish, publish. And now you say, okay, fine, I wanna speed up the process. I'll do two videos per day. So you film another 30, add those to drafts. Now you post two per day. So you've gotta find a way of making, if, you, if the problem that you've got is that you're not consistent, find a way, a system, like systemize how you can be more consistent, okay? Fine, I've just given you an example. So those are really the, the limiting beliefs and the things I think you need to work on. And that's the mindset of a winner. You need to identify the actionable steps to actually grow your business. You need to identify how to make it more efficient. Uh, and then obviously from there, implement and, action, and take actionable steps. Stop spending you know, hours and hours on research. I think research is important, but don't spend hours and hours and hours on it. You, it you're gonna see more results by doing this. Um, and then obviously making it more efficient so you can actually spend more time doing the things that actually work in your business. So I hope this was useful. Uh, I do also want to mention for those of you guys who are scaling your e-commerce stores, I actually have a fulfillment company, which is linked down below so those of you who need fast shipping times come onto the website and just click this button fill in the form uh, you need to be doing at least five orders per day uh, and we'll get back to you with a quote for your uh, shipping times and also your product so but other than that i hope this video was useful and i will see you guys in my next video